locked in to represent the tab in the $14 million, the tab Everest. And according to Sam Friedman, Santa Ana Lane is right on target. Santa came back from Hong Kong in really good order. He um, didn't feel the trip too much, which was to be expected. He's a well-traveled horse. He's been to every state in Australia and he's been on a plane before. He couldn't have come back in better order and he's had a really nice break, so we're really happy with him. He had quarantine in Melbourne where he had a, a yard during the day and that was for two weeks and then he had three weeks out in a paddock just being left alone, which he really appreciates. He's back here at Pinecliffe and he's, he seems very fresh and, and well. Having a good grip on the horse, you really start to know his characteristics and when he's feeling good and when he's not quite right. In touch wood at the moment, he seems in a really good space. We'll keep him here for another few weeks yet and get him up to a stage with some base fitness and then he'll head up to Flemington. He does okay here at Pinecliffe, but he, he seems to really thrive in a boxed environment, in a really busy environment. That will be the plan again with him and that's been the plan with him, you know, the whole way through. So he'll get up to Flemington and just before he has a trial and, you know, start prepping him towards his grand final. We haven't quite um, mapped his path yet. I mean, it's so far away, we don't really want to get him up and going early and then have to tread water towards the Everest. And the gates are back, they're off, and Sunlight jump well together with Ball of Muscle and Red Cells right up there on the speed. A winner of the TJ Smith Stakes over the Everest course at Randwick earlier this year, Santa Ana Lane has returned from a spell as good as he has ever been. And Friedman thinks that sounds an ominous warning to rivals as he treks his way to the Tab Everest on Saturday, October 19. Here comes Santa! Santa and Elaine swept to the front and kicked away in the TJ. Osborne Bulls Parada, champagne colours late, but Santa and Elaine does it again. An emphatic victory in the TJ. His best runs in previous preparations have both been second up. He won the TJ Smith second up and he won the Premier Stakes when he broke the track record at Randwick second up. So whether we just give him one start before the Everest and then give him a three week break heading into the Everest, that's probably an ideal scenario. But looking at the calendar, there probably isn't many options three weeks prior to his grand final. So we'll probably just have to have a good look at it. While a wet track was blamed for the disappointing effort by Santa Ana Lane in last year's The Tab Everest, Friedman is hoping the star sprinter gets a drier surface this time around. Hopefully we can get conditions to suit. If he gets every opportunity to show his best, that's all we're after.